Delight yourself in the Lord and you will prosper. Not only are you going to prosper, but your enemies will be cut down like grass. Your enemies will be no more. I know that uh, some of you have a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies that have attacked you. And there are even people that pretend to be your friends. And yet they are your adversaries. And yet they continuously plot for your destruction. My brothers and sisters, if you delight yourself in the Lord, you will prosper. God will put you to a place that your enemies will not be able to reach you. Your enemies will not be able to locate you. An example is David. David delighted himself in the Lord. He always loved the word of the Lord. He meditated on the word of the Lord. And even when he had sinned against God, he repented. He was a righteous man. He loved the Lord. That's why the scripture says that David was a man after God's own heart. He delighted in the Lord. So brothers and sisters, David had victory over his enemies. To one extent that even before he went to war, he inquired of God whether he should go or not. Whether he would have victory or not. And God will tell him, go, for you will have victory. How many times have you gone to a place and before you go to that place, you see God? Because there are some times that God never wants you to go to that place. There are some times that God never wants you to meet that person. A lot of times we get so involved into relationships that we're never supposed to be in. We get so involved into our jobs that we're never supposed, that we're never assigned to. That God never wanted us to be in that particular place. That's why you see it is very important that you delight yourself in the Lord. Today's scripture is from the book of Psalms 37, 1 to 4. Psalm 37, 1 to 4. And it reads, Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like grass and wither as green herb. Trust in the Lord and do not and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Scripture says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. What do your heart desire? Some of you, your heart desires to have a breakthrough. Your heart desires to be in a better place. Your heart desires to be free. To be out of bondage, out of pain, out of sickness, out of poverty, out of affliction. But the scripture says, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. All that your heart desires, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give them to you. He will give them to you. God is not a man that he should lie. Your neighbor can lie to you. They can promise you something. Your family can promise you something. Tomorrow they change their minds. But we serve a God that will never change. Scripture says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he has been performing miracles in the old, he still performs miracles. If the sick have been healed, He still heals the sick. If those that have been afflicted come out of afflictions, even right now, he still sets the captive free. So delight yourself in the Lord. Now notice that the scripture says, 
Do not fright because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. Do not fright. In other words, do not be anxious because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like grass and wither as the green herb. They shall soon be cut down like grass. Yes, the uh, workers of iniquity, they could be at top places right now as I speak. They could be above you. Some of them could be even your CEOs. Some of them could be controlling your company. Some of them could be rulers in your area. But do not fret. Do not even be envious about them. When they prosper, leave them. Do not be envious. When they get away with evil, just leave them. God will deal with them. They shall be cut down like grass. <laughs> I don't know if uh, some of you have seen grass being cut down. But it's not good experience. When grass is cut down, it, it, it is fragile. It is like glass. You can pick it up and pluck it out. So they shall be cut down like grass and wither as the green herb. Now the scripture says, trust in the Lord and do good. Notice it says, trust in the Lord. Do not trust in your boss. Do not trust in your money. Do not trust in your strength. Do not trust in your ability to do things. Because I do understand some of you are so skilled. But do not trust in them. Do not trust in your family or relatives. But trust in the Lord. And do good. Be a person that is so easily attracted to doing good. Do not wait for somebody to remind you. Be a person who does good. When you see somebody suffering, lift them up. When you see somebody begging, somebody going through a tough time, be there to comfort them. Do good, brothers and sisters. For whatever you sow, you shall reap. If you sow good seeds, my brothers and sisters, you are going to reap something good. Your fruits will be good. Your fruits will be good. So do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Scripture says dwell in the land. The land that God has told you to be in. Dwell in, in it. And also feed on his faithfulness. Feed on his faithfulness. What is it that God has done in your life? Some of you, God has been so faithful to you, but you have not yet realized how faithful God has been. You would have crashed down a long time ago. You would have perished a long time ago. You would have been caught up in all sorts of things, but God has been faithful to you that he has not put you to shame. He has not allowed the wicked to triumph over you. So brothers and sisters, feed on his faithfulness and delight in the Lord. For he will give you the desires of your heart. Well, I have come to the end of this message. And one thing that I would like you to do is leave your comments. And let me know in the comment section. Well, until next time. Be blessed.